Good morning. What is the purplest sunrise ever? First thing you need to know about Cumbran, free parking for four hours or for 12. Let's go shopping. I've got a tea towel and two Welsh car flags already. Mm -mm. Let's continue. Nice land. The size of it in there. I was pleasantly surprised not to see Combran in there. It's good they put the guards up there to stop. Pigeons. Free Wi Fi in here. <laughs> Die and me family. Umbran means the valley of the crows. Now, credit where it's due, they really have polished that turd with these base relief carvings. So the difference between England and Wales this week is that England is anal about masks and Wales is anal about two meters. However, the silver lining for Cumbran is the Poundland. I think there's a bigger one in Lowestoft, but Cumbran's Poundland is, oh yeah, <laughs> worth a visit. Who's my favorite hair dye model? Mm. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, it's her. Caspian fish restaurant used to do an amazing cheesy chips and curry in there. Hope they're still doing it. There's the older style Bolingo. Look at that piece of abstract modern art.
Oh yes. <laughs> How does that work? Hmm. Not exactly. <laughs> Love it. properly wedged in there. Uh, uh. <laughs> Some people, eh? Uh, uh, no sense of taste. TK Max without looking at the gadget plinth. I'm busting to have a piss, but there are people just appearing out of the woodwork. That bloke there is eating cheesy chips and curry. Where did he get it from? Oh, I stopped here because there are so many great hedges. There. There. Lizzo, that's the pedestrianised underpass. Yeah. Well, this is good. There's no one coming from that way. But as soon as they clear, they're laughing. Now, there are some of you who are worried that when I get the green light, I'm going to be filming my urination. Not necessarily the origin of the, the direct source of the urination, but the, the output. But no, not this time. For our creative content director, Paul Jones has forbidden it. Right. This is it. Mobilize. Go, go, go. Well, that's a lot better. It's a bit of a Milton Keynes, but instead of a grid system, it's a right little knot. Another great view. There's nothing more reassuring than finding a nice place to stop for the night than uh, vandalism and arson.
so much mess to clear up in here. <sighs> it's like those little puzzles, you know, where there's only one gap and you've got to move the squares around. <laughs> Captain's log, stardate 2020.7. Through the magic of Bungie, I have secured the sleeping area and uh, held my meager personal possessions, including recent reduced purchases, in place. Captain's Log Supplemental. It is a howling sideways drizzle outside atop this Welsh mountain. And uh, all the doors are shut tight. My only hope of survival is that the wind itself enters fresh air through the small gaps in the panels. It's my only hope. Um, we have a new addition to the household from TK Maxx. And this is a, a hands-free phone holder that clamps onto anything. Probably clamp it onto the side of <laughs> ah, onto the side of that table. Excellent. And then bring the holder down here. Oh, this like gonna smack me right in the face with the full force of a spring. <laughs> Okay, so I've got these jaws here, right above my head. <laughs> I guess I just put the phone in, in there and watch the uh, watch YouTube or something. Don't know if the phone picks this up. But there's a couple of stoners who've chosen to park next to me on this drizzly, windy, dark night in this mountaintop car park. And as they're toking away, they are banging out just non-stop speed garage techno. 